Now, in other news, the PyeongChang 2018 Winter Olympic Games are less than two years away, and the International Olympic Committee was in Korea for a progress report on preparations work. The verdict? A big thumbs up. Our Kwon Jang Ho has this report. On the right track. That's the verdict the International Olympic Committee gave after a meeting held with the PyeongChang Organizing Committee on Wednesday. We have had a very productive three day visit. It has been excellent presentations, and we have a very collaborative spirit between our organizations. The brand new Alpensia Sliding Center, where events such as bobsleigh and luge will take place, was of some concern recently. An inspection and test event earlier this month revealed issues with the refrigeration plant, causing difficulties in maintaining the ice in optimal conditions. But the IOC representative, Gunilla Lindbergh, reassured that it was not a big problem and said that's what these test events are for. Lindbergh was also impressed with last month's series of events that were designed to test out some new ski and snowboard courses. They ran without a hitch and they were a hit with the athletes as well. It's got good length to it, it's wide open, big features, um, we're catching a lot of air. The track today you could hold the Olympics on, for sure. It's really exciting for, to be a racer and I think it's exciting to be a spectator as well here. The IOC also gave positive remarks regarding the amount of sponsorship that had already been secured, noting that 70% of the target has been met. This was outlined by a partnership signing ceremony between the IOC and one of Korea's largest conglomerates, Lotte Group, earlier in the day. Lotte will now be able to use Olympic branding in its department and duty-free stores. The IOC added that there is still much to do, and now the PyeongChang Organizing Committee will be looking ahead to the next winter sports season, where 24 more test events will be taking place. Kwon Jang-ho, Arirang News.